Greetings, people of Earth. Welcome back. My name is Jax. My throat is a little bit bleh today. Um, this is Julia having a lovely little nap. And today, the topic is I love everything. Um, this is something that I thought of on my drive into the gym yesterday morning. And I thought, what an interesting topic. Um, basically, I was driving in and the leaves have changed color. Some of them have started to fall. It's all very beautiful, very picturesque. And it's just, it's just lovely. It's just fantastic. And I was thinking about all the people in my life, um, what I get to do, that sort of thing. And I was just thinking, you know what? Like, I really do love everything. You know, there, there are, obviously there are situations and people and uh, current events and things that aren't great, that are really difficult. People are going through a lot of hardship and I understand that. Um, but I have an incredible amount of like humble admiration for what I'm doing, for the people in my life. Um, even, even like my exes and my enemies, um, everyone is trying their absolute best to be a good human. I think every, I, like I don't really know anybody who is just on a downward spiral forever. Um, like even the people who don't like me are still out there trying to do the best. They're trying to be good people. They're striving for excellence. They're improving themselves. You know, we're all very critical of ourselves. We're all very like, oh, you know, I did that and I shouldn't have and oh, that was so bad. But on the whole, we are all attempting to just live and exist. And I really love that about the human condition, dogs, everything. Um, it's really amazing. And you see that in nature as well, where, uh, where every living thing is trying to do the best, trying to survive, trying to improve. Um, and especially in the human zone of things, we're all trying to learn and be the best version of ourselves, even if we hit these stumbling blocks and things. And I really love that. I have this incredible admiration for like the courage to put yourself out there, the courage to try new things, the courage to... Um, just keep going to wake up every day in a in a situation that you might not love and to say, you know what, I'm going to keep going. I'm going to enjoy these little moments in my life, whether it's a cup of coffee, whether it's your break after a long day of work, um, whether it's the lunch that you have at, at uh, work or at school or whatever you're doing. Um, so many people are trying so hard and it, it's kind of like boggles my mind. And I know that this is like a very strange video topic, but I really do feel this. And I feel like I, I, I wish I could like pour my love and admiration to every single person individually and make sure that they know it. Um, I really try when I interact with friends, family, people in my life to, you know, have a smile on my face, to tell them that I love them, to admire them, to give them a compliment. Um, I do this even when I'm walking through a, a store or something. I just smile at people. I'm just, you know, I want the best for everyone. Um, I see like a mom with her two kids and they're running around crazy and it's like, man, she's trying her best. Those kids are living their best life. And I don't have like a judgment towards them or anything. Um, even like the sullen teenagers that you see in the grocery store or something, like they're just, you know, I'll smile at them and they'll be like, what is this loser doing? But like, everyone is out here attempting to survive and thrive and do the best. Everyone has these ornate and intricate hobbies and interests. Um, I know people who are interested in like colored glass or board games or um, online video games. Like there's so many things that people get a passion for and an admiration and they have this love for this thing. And it might be childhood nostalgia, it might be books, it could be home decoration. Um, there are so many facets to humans. Like we have so many layers to speak like Shrek. Um, and if you can't appreciate that, I really don't have a whole lot to interact with. Like if you, if you genuinely can't look at the world and go like, oh my gosh, what a crazy, ridiculous, amazing, intricate life. Like, what are you doing? Um, and I think it's, it's nice to have that appreciation. And it's also incredibly attractive to see that in other people. You know, when a friend or someone in my life appreciates what I'm doing, or what I'm doing for them, you know, that sort of thing, that like grateful humility, uh, being humble, that is just so energizing and it's so uplifting, you know, when you're hanging out with some friends or family or whoever 
And at the end of it, they tell you that they love you, they hug you, and you drive away or you go away thinking, man, what a great interaction. You know, I feel really blessed. I know the word blessed has become uh, overused and some of its meaning has kind of gone out the window, but you do feel blessed. You feel like, man, I'm so lucky to know this person or I'm so lucky to have had this interaction or this really good weekend or, you know, this good day at work. Um, a good meal with your family. There are so many instances that we can really like appreciate and love the people in our lives and what they're doing and, you know, be able to focus on that and to be able to, really it just comes down to appreciating it and to loving it and to admiring the struggle that people go through, admiring the ups and downs, um, the epic highs and lows, uh, you know, it's, it's something that is so present in everyone's day and you can choose to look at it or you can choose to just live your day and not appreciate it and not think about it. But I often think, and it, it often happens during the sunset or the sunrise, I'm lucky that I live in a place that gets both really, really beautiful, like lights up the sky, it's absolutely gorgeous. Um, and it makes me think about like the journey that my life is on or the plot of the story and all of these other characters and people in my in my world that are so fascinating, that are so intricate and like they have fears, hopes, dreams, desires. And it's so cool to like talk to people about this kind of stuff and to connect with them on a deep way. Um, I think a lot of people have this real longing to connect on a deep way, in an emotional way, in and talk about our loves, our shared tribulations, our shared difficulties, our uphill battles, our successes, our conquests, whatever you want to call it. And the funny stories we have, you know, telling a friend about a crazy date you went on. All of these things make the human experience so unique and so interesting. I feel like the last hundred years has been humanity going like, oh, we're the only species that does this. And then we find out that there's an animal species that does that thing, or we're the only animal species that goes to war. And then you find out about ants and certain colonies will go to war with each other. And you're like, wow, okay, I guess we're not as unique as we think we are. But I really feel that that kind of like deep appreciation and love is something that only a few species of animals have. And we tend to connect with those animals really well, dogs, cats, um, hippopotamuses if you've been watching the adorable baby hippo um there there are certain species that like appreciate life and they see it for what it is and it just makes the whole world really fantastic and magical and i think by appreciating that even in your lowest point by appreciating and loving our ability to appreciate and love you can always pull yourself out of that funk you can always pull yourself out of the oh man, I just wish this was working better. I wish this was going nicer. I wish these things, the sun keeps fighting me. Um, I wish these things were better, but you know what? The world is still a beautiful place. People are still out there trying to make it better. People are still out there trying to do their best. And I really admire that about the human condition and where we are and what we do. So if you're having a bad day, if you're having a struggle, if you are in a bad month, a bad year, whatever it is, understand that it is just that. It is a bad day, a bad week, a bad month, a bad year. And these things pass. I've talked to so many older people who talk about like, oh yeah, 1962, that was the worst year ever. And oh my gosh, we thought we were, you know, nuclear apocalypse was coming and blah, 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 blah. And then people pulled out, people got better, people improved, people talked to each other, people loved each other and things improved. I think... It is really easy at this critical moment in human history to be really despondent and be like, oh, the whole system is going crazy, inflation and the cost of living, um, you know, religious people versus non-religious people, young versus old. Um, we put all of these dichotomies and these battles that don't really exist. We, we make them out to be this huge coming of age, epic who will win and the other side will be completely destroyed. And that's not the case. We are all human beings who love and laugh and enjoy and go to sleep. And we do so much that makes us all the same. You know, we are so similar in so many ways. And 
I think just having that appreciation for everyone is just trying to do their best. Everyone is trying to keep their head above the water. They are paddling, some are struggling, some are in motorboats. And you know, that inequality is difficult to deal with. It is, it's always gonna be there. And you have to learn how to navigate that and how to see it in a positive way. How to, you know, if you can't beat them, join them. If you don't have to beat them, you know, become a, become a, you know, a collector, collect, collectivist, no, a commune, something like that. Become, become greater than yourself is essentially what I'm saying. And just having that moment of stepping outside of yourself and looking at everyone, maybe through the eyes of an alien, maybe through the eyes of a younger version of yourself or whatever you have to do to just appreciate that people are out here trying to do the best. And yes, there are people who are malevolent and you have to be careful and you know you can't just put your walls down and let every Tom, Dick and Harry come over and, and hang out. Um, you have to have some discernment, but just appreciating that human experience is pretty incredible. And I find that I'm always drawn to people who are curious who have this high appreciation, who are humble, who understand their own limitations and, and where they don't quite add up. Um, and that is very special. So I love everything. I think I, I wish I had uh, enough time and energy to spread that love out to every single human being who's ever existed. Um, because I think the world would be very different if we had this approach, this idea of just Everyone's out there doing their best. And if if I don't interfere with your life, you don't interfere with mine, and we choose to spend lives together, spend time together, uh, learn from each other, those kinds of things, man, what a place. Um, but it is still such an amazing place to live. It's such a beautiful world. I'm glad to live in it. I'm happy about everything. Um, I'm generally pretty content. I have my aches and pains. I have my sicknesses and health. Uh, I have my struggles, whether they are relationship, financial, personal, mental, spiritual, I have all of that, but I still can appreciate the whole picture. You know, the grass is greener on the other side, but it's pretty green over here too, thankfully. So that's my two cents for today. I hope you are having a beautiful day, month, year, week, millennium, century, eon, epoch, era, whatever you're having, I hope it's amazing. Please let me know what you think. And as always, I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. <laughs>